Today we're going to talk about wood grading at PRS Guitars, specifically maple tops. So when the company started in 85, we basically made mahogany guitars that were either translucent or, or opaque finishes, and we had maple tops. And maple top guitars at that point were not separated into any particular grade. We had a pretty good inventory of wood when the company started, and we would just go through and make tops, make guitars, um, and really the only thing we paid attention to back then was if it was a vintage yellow, it got a very clean top. If it was a royal blue, it could have a little fleck in it. Aside from that, there wasn't a whole lot of manipulation that we did. We just appreciated the different woods that came through. In the next year or so, I guess the public kind of became aware that all tops are not created equal. And so we started getting phone calls of people saying, can you pick me out a nice one? I'd like a nice one. Go in the back and get a nice one for me. So from that reality was born the tin top. We had to kind of create a, a formal line that people could get their hands around. And that was clearly defined figure across the entire body. So in order to define a tin top, let's start with what a regular um, top is for PRS. This is a regular top and if you ever come here on a tour you'll see that we color code things and date things so that on the shop floor we can pretty quickly recognize what our inventory is and what we should pull from. So a regular top has curl, it's not without curl, but on a grade of 1 to 10 it's more of a 5 or a 7 and not a 10. Now one thing that we do sometimes is we'll Spray a little liquid on there and hopefully this will translate to the camera but you can get a better idea of what that figure is going to look like once it has stain on it. And here is a finished guitar with what we would call a regular top on it. So when we look at this we would say it has curl but it's not clearly defined curl across the entire body therefore it would not make a tin top. Now compare that to a tin top. And the way that curly maple works, it also reflects and refracts light a little bit differently. So in order to kind of tell what you're going to end up with, you usually have to move it around in the light a little bit. And again, if we wet it, not too much, you can end up seeing a little more clearly what that's going to look like. And you can see, hopefully, that we have clearly defined curl. This is this one happens to be a quilted top, but it's clearly defined throughout the top. There are no weak spots or dead spots. Now, the next step in the, the current PRS lineup would be an artist pack top. So it has more depth of curl, maybe more of an amount of curl, um, just more vibrant of a top than a tin top. So that's the next step in the process. And then beyond this top is uh, obviously private stock, which is kind of akin to the mentality of the old um, signature series, sort of the best of the best that we have. But this is an artist top, and part of the art of making our guitars is drawing out the natural beauty of the wood through the processes. So each of these tops will kind of develop and mature and metamorphosize and turn into what people are used to seeing in a PRS. So we grade the wood on arrival, we color code it and it goes into the wood shop and we say we have regular, we have tin top, we have artist pack. Then the, first, the next thing you do is start to build a guitar body and as you build it, you carve into that figure. Sometimes this regular top could turn into a tin top. You can carve into that curl and all of a sudden it comes alive and becomes a beautiful thing and you reroute that guitar and make it as a tin top. Sometimes you don't know that in the wood shop and you find out when you put stain on the guitars. Conversely, sometimes you stain it and what you thought was a 10 just didn't pop the way that you expected it to and so you we call it downgrading. It goes from a 10 top to a regular. Just because it started in one way doesn't mean it finishes that way and there are many, many opportunities in the line for it to, to change. It can change color because we carved into fleck and it can't be a natural anymore. It can change grade because we carved out of the curl and it needs to go to a regular instead of a 10. It can change because the particular color that it is called out to be in the finish room causes that top to pop even more and it gets upgraded to, you know, a 10 top in that way too. And we check that periodically through the line. We're, we're checking it 
before we build the body, we're checking it when we put the neck and the body together, we're checking it when we stain, and then in the finished process, virtually every step in the process, we're checking to make sure that it holds true right up to the point that we're writing the serial number <clears throat> on the back of the neck. That, in a nutshell, is what the tin top grading system is, how it came to be. Obviously, we're, we're known for vibrant tops and beautiful guitars to a degree, and the tin tops and, and the foundation we laid in the mid-80s has a lot to do with that.